This LOS is explain the fundamental relationship among saving, investment, the fiscal balance, and the trade balance. The fiscal balance is the difference between government expenditures, G, and taxes. So the fiscal balance is equals G minus T. If G is greater than T, the fiscal balance is a deficit. They're spending more than they're taking in. If G is less than T, the fiscal balance is a surplus. They're taxing more than spending. The role of automatic stabilizing. As income declines, the deficit grows. As income increases, the deficit shrinks or becomes a surplus. The trade balance is the net position in trade with other countries. So recall the trade balance equals exports minus imports, which is X minus M in the uh, factors of the GDP. So if exports are greater than imports, then we have a current account surplus. This is also referred to as a positive trade balance. If exports is less than imports, then we have a trade balance deficit. Aggregate savings. Aggregate savings equals the national savings plus the current account surplus, which equals I, okay? So we can see savings equals investment I plus the fiscal balance, G minus T, plus the net exports, X minus M. National savings equal private savings plus government savings. Government savings equals taxes minus government spending minus transfer payments minus interest on government debt. Personal savings equals GDP plus transfer payments plus interest on government debt minus taxes minus consumption. So this is an important slide. We can rearrange the GDP equation to equate expenditure and income. So savings minus investment equals the fiscal balance plus the net exports. As income increases, the fiscal balance and net exports decline. If the effect of income on savings is greater than the effect on investment, the net savings, S minus I, increases. Dealing with an imbalance. If S minus I is greater than G minus T plus X minus M, there is an excess savings. If S minus I is less than G minus T plus X minus M, there is excess planned investment. The balance between expenditure and income is the result of changing real interest rates. If there is excess savings, the real interest rate will decline. If there is excess planned investment, the real rate will increase. So let's do a practice question to check our understanding. Equality between aggregate expenditure and aggregate output implies that the government's fiscal deficit must equal A, private saving minus investment minus ex net exports, B, private saving minus investment plus net exports, or C, investment minus private saving plus net exports. Okay, I like this question because it's typical of uh, the CFA with regards to the economics. It's a really a, a lot of uh, English language test subject economics in this case. And so you need to know the formulas uh, and the equations, and then it's just a readjustment of the algebra, and then reading what is the correct uh, you know, ordering of the, uh, of, the, of the variables. So in this case, uh, just let's recall that savings minus investments equals the fiscal balance plus net exports. So equality between aggregate expenditure and aggregate output implies that the government's fiscal deficit must equal one. So A is correct. The fundamental relationship among savings, investment, and the fiscal balance, you can see savings, we move the I to the other side. So S minus I, we, we've, we moved it to the other side of the equation. So S equals I plus G minus T plus X minus M. So this form of the relationship shows that private savings must fund investment expenditures, the government fiscal balance, and net exports equals net capital outflows. So re you can rearrange it, G minus T equals S minus I minus X minus M. So the government's fiscal deficit must be equal to private sector savings, investment balance, minus net exports. So a tricky little question. It's one where, as I said, you have to write out the equation, readjust the algebra, and then English language test, subject economics, see what answer, answer is lining up to uh, the rearranged equation. Very typical of a CFA type question. We're gonna finish this LOS with one last practice question. Because of a sharp decline in real estate values, the household sector has increased the fraction of disposable income that it saves. If output and investment spending remain unchanged, 
Which of the following is most likely? A, a decrease in the government deficit. B, a decrease in net exports and increased capital flow. Or C, an increase in net exports and increased capital outflow. Okay, another good question. C is correct. The fundamental relationship among saving investment, the fiscal balance, and the trade balance is S equals I plus G minus T plus X minus M. Given the levels of output and investment spending, an increase in savings, reduce or reduction in consumption, must be offset by either an increase in the fiscal deficit or an increase in net exports. Increasing the fiscal deficit is not one of the choices, so an increase in net exports and corresponding increase in net capital outflows, increased lending to foreigners, and or increased purchases of assets from foreigners is the correct response. So again, it's taking the equation, reading the English, but in this case, a little bit of a subtlety is that uh, with regards to the equation, G minus T is not, uh, is, not, is not listed. So it's an increase in net exports and an increased capital outflow, C is correct. And that's the last slide for this LOS, thank you.